Aircraft are expensive, very expensive, I'm sure you know that. A brand new Airbus A350-900, for example, lists for currently about 317 million US dollars. While airlines are often able to secure better prices, these numbers are still quite impressive. But did you know that the most expensive crash in aviation history was orders of magnitude more costly than any of these planes, costing over a billion dollars? Today we are going to take a look at this most expensive crash in aviation history. Welcome to Airspace. You might have guessed it from the thumbnail. Today's video is not about the civil aviation accident, but about a military one. Namely the 2008 crash of a B-2 Spirit bomber. During takeoff, it crashed back onto the runway and went up in flames. But first, let's have a closer look at this alien looking plane and its specs. During the Cold War, the United States of America decided that they had need for an almost entirely new aircraft concept, a stealthy aircraft. First, it developed the smaller F-117 and the SR-71 aircraft. These were already impressive feats of engineering, especially the SR-71. Fearing the escalation of the Cold War into a nuclear one, the United States sought a means of delivering nuclear payloads far behind enemy lines, and thus, the concept of the long-range stealth bomber was born. By 1988, the first B-2 Spirit bomber was ready and presented to the public under strict precautions. For example, spectators were not allowed to see the rear section of the aircraft. However, whoever planned the event apparently forgot to close the airspace above the event, and people were able to take pictures of the marvel of engineering from above, from day one. But this little mishap should not distract from the fact that this aircraft is a very fascinating piece of technology. Before we take a look at the specs, please note that I am an avid airplane enthusiast and not a war fanatic and I do not intend to take a political stance in this video. I am merely fascinated by this airplane. The B-2 is crafted almost entirely out of carbon graphite materials that are stronger than steel, lighter than aluminum and absorb a significant amount of radar energy. A very important metric for a stealth aircraft, obviously. Its very special shape is called a flying wing, that means the entire aircraft is basically a single wing without other components or surfaces. Sporting a 52.4 meter or 172 foot wingspan, the P2 can carry two, or in exceptional cases, three crew members, several weapons and enough fuel for a maximum range of over 6000 nautical miles or 11000 kilometers. It can also be refueled in flight. That brings the aircraft to a maximum weight of just about 170 tons or 376,000 pounds. It also somehow looks like a falcon from the side. Another interesting fact is that the B-2 flying wing is inherently unstable. Normal aircraft as we know them from general or civil aviation are with a few exceptions stable, that means that after a disturbance such as turbulence, they will return to their previous state of stable flight. Unstable aircraft like the B-2 on the other hand will not return to their state after disturbance but will continue to divert from it more and more if the disturbance is not corrected right away. This would be next to impossible to handle for a human, but it can be done with computers. Therefore, the B-2 has a very sophisticated fly-by-wire system that keeps the plane stable digitally by providing corrective inputs to the flight control surfaces many times per second. To maintain the plane's low radar detectability, nothing must protrude from the surface of the plane. Therefore, the four jet engines are mounted on top of the wing inside a housing, leaving the underside of the plane flat and smooth and hiding away the noisy and hot engines. Also, the aircraft has no pitot tubes or angle of attack probes, unlike all other civil transport planes. Instead, it sports pitot-static sensing plates that deliver data to the airspeed computers. These then calculate altitude, airspeed and angle of attack of the B-2. Keep this in mind for later. Well, that was one pretty long introduction to a plane, but the facts that you just learned are relevant to understand the accident of this aircraft. On February 23, 2008, one such B-2 bomber named Spirit of Kansas crashed back onto the runway at Anderson Air Force Base in Guam. There is a video of the crash, but as always, the quality of the video is rather average. See for yourself and I'll explain the accident afterwards. Since there is no extensive final report on the matter, I suppose that is for secrecy reasons, 
I can only give you the rough details that the Department of Defense released after the internal investigation. Apparently, the B-2 had been exposed to heavy, lashing rains before the accident. Due to that, water was able to enter the airspeed sensors and condensation formed inside the pressure transducers. These are the devices that convert air pressure to electrical signals for the computers. The failure of three such transducers led to an indicated airspeed that was 12 knots faster than the actual speed of the aircraft. The pilots rotated the aircraft for takeoff at what they believed was the correct takeoff speed. However, the aircraft was 12 knots too slow for safe flight at that point. Additionally, as the flight control law transitioned from ground law to flight law, the computers now calculated an erroneous angle of attack, also due to the fact that the air pressure transducers produced invalid data. As soon as the B-2 lifted off the ground, the plane's computers pitched it up aggressively to 30 degrees nose up. At that point, the plane was too slow and its nose too high, and the stall was inevitable. The pilots tried their very best to recover, but when the left wing tip started to scrape along the ground, they ejected from the aircraft. Both pilots were brought to a nearby hospital. One of them was released on the same day, the other received a spinal injury, but was later released also. The aircraft burned out next to the runway. Fortunately, it had not been carrying any weapons, but only classified material. The crash was the most expensive crash in aviation history, coming in at an eye-watering 1.4 billion US dollar loss. In the end, this accident apparently happened due to some moisture in critical sensors and due to the fact that internal communications had not been effective. It seems there would have been a technique of turning on the heaters of the airspeed sensors before speed calibration, but that technique was not communicated to all pilots of the B-2. This technique would have likely eliminated the moisture in the airspeed sensors and avoided this mishap. After the accident, operation of all B-2s was temporarily suspended in order to review the accident and internal procedures. Until today, this case remains the only loss of a B-2 Spirit aircraft. Thank you very much for watching! If you liked the video, leave a like and a sub. Also, a really big thanks to everyone who bought me a coffee with the link in the description. See you in the next one.